Hi, I'm Zoe, product manager on the Flutter team. Hi, I'm Chenghen. I'm a software engineer on the Flutter team. I'm also the engineering owner of the GoRouter package. Chenhen and I are here to tell you more about DeepLinks. Before that, I have some questions for you. Do you have an app? Do you also have a website? Let's say you have both. You own an online shop that sells beautiful accessories and home goods. If a potential buyer comes across one of your products when browsing on their phone, either via search or promotion link, when they click on the link, the default behavior today is going to open the link in the mobile browser. But is that the best user experience? Our recommendation is send your users to the specific product page on the app. Apps usually have a much smoother user experience than mobile websites. Besides, we've seen that users who are directed to apps are twice as likely to make that purchase. If you want to send your users to the app, you will need deep links. So Chen Han and I will give you a deep dive into Flutter deep linking. We will talk about why it is important to have deep links and walk you through the steps to configure your Flutter app to handle deep links using best practices on both Android and iOS. Let's go over some terminology. A deep link is a URI that points to a specific resource deep within your app. On the web, most links are naturally deep links, but on mobile, you have to do a small amount of extra setup. This URI contains scheme, host, and path, and opens the app to a specific screen. A universal link is a type of deep link that uses HTTP or HTTPS and is exclusive to Apple devices. An app link is similar to universal link, but it is for Android. There are different types of deep links, but for the best experience, we highly recommend implementing universal links for iOS and app links for Android. They're more secure and specific because you verify ownership of the domain. This helps securely associate your domain with your app. Plus, they provide a seamless user experience. App links and universal links use the same URL as your web links. So if your app cannot open, users will be taken to the mobile site's landing page. Technically speaking, you can use custom schemes to create custom URIs to link to any in-app content you choose. These are easy to set up and might be a good solution if your website and apps don't have a one-on-one -on -one match, but they're less secure. Without authorization required, anyone can claim custom schemes and may use to direct traffic to apps other than yours. Someone who clicks on the deep link but doesn't have your app installed will also get an error page. So universal links and app links are best way to implement deep links. Next, Let's talk about the benefits of adding them to your app. Deep links allow you to drive more traffic into your mobile app. They can be used in multiple use cases, such as marketing, emails, and SMS. And more traffic to your mobile app means more in-app purchases, more checkouts, and more sales. With deep links, you can include target URL parameters to create a personalized app experience. Remember, users tend to delete apps that don't make it easy to complete their central tasks whether that's interacting with other users, verifying some data, or adding the right items to their cart. With deep links, you can give your application code all the logic it needs to help your users accomplish their goals in your app with minimal effort. Last but not least, deep links drive long-term engagement and boost the return on investment you get from your app. Like I mentioned earlier, users who are directed to app are twice as likely to perform actions as users who are directed to the mobile web version of the same content. So the conversion is much higher for you and your users. I know you can't wait to see the code. So over to you, Chen Han. Thanks, Soy. Today, I'm going to share with you on how to set up deep links in Flutter. The advantage of using Flutter is that you can share most of your business logic with the same dark code. Although the process of adding deep link on Android and iOS requires some extra steps, they are very similar. In this session, we'll talk about them separately. First, let's start with a high-level overview. A deep link workflow consists of two parts, the web setup and the app setup. The web setup requires you to own a web domain and host a specific web file for both Android and iOS. 
This part of setup is focusing on redirecting user from your website to install app on devices. The web file contains the app ID and package name of the app that will be redirected to, so no other app can hijack the redirected request. That's the web setup. The app setup involves adjusting project parameter and writing dark code to handle redirect from your website. The project parameter specifies which web domain is allowed to redirect their user to this app. Both of the setup are in place to make sure deep links are secure, and no other third party can temper the process. Now we have talked about the deep link at a high level. It's time to dive into details on how to actually set up deep links. Let's start with Android. Using the example earlier, you have built an online shopping app, and the app has two screens, a product overview and a detail view when user click on a product. Let's say you want to add a deep link to the detail views. To do that, first, you need to implement a routing table in your dark code. You can use Material App.Route API or any third-party routing package of your choice. For this example, we use GoRouter. In GoRouter, you can define how a path will be mapped to a specific widget. Assuming the product list widget represents the product overview, and the product details widget represents the detail view of a product. In this code, slash maps to product list, and the slash column ID maps to the product details. The slash column ID means the GoRouter will store any non-slash string after the first slash, and lets product details widget access the string in its context. To learn more on how this is actually implemented, you can check out the Flutter samples in the description below. Once your Docker can handle the URL, open the Android manifest file. Your manifest file should look like this. Inside the manifest, add an intent filter and a metadata tag. The metadata tag opts in for Flutter's default deep link handler. Don't add this tag if you are using another third-party plugin to handle deep links, as this tag will override that plugin. In the intent filter, you need to specify your web domain name. You can also specify an allowed path to filter out certain URL from launching this app. Now we have covered the app setup for Android. Let's move on to a web setup. For your web setup, you need to host assetlink.json file on your website. It needs to be hosted at this path. And the file should contain data similar to this. The package name value should match the application ID of your app. The application ID should be defined in the build gradle file. Back to assetlink.json file. In the shell 256 fingerprint section, you need to replace it with the fingerprint of your own app signing key. This is the key you use to sign the app, and there are two ways to do that. Depending on which way you are using, you need to follow different paths to get the fingerprint. If you choose to automatically sign your app in Play Store, you can find the fingerprint on the Play Developer Console under the App Integrity in Release panel. If you assign your app locally, you can get the fingerprint by using this command. Once the file is hosted, make sure the file is publicly accessible through a browser. And that is all for setting up deep link in Android. Let's summarize what we just did. First, we roll a Flutter app. Second, we add intent filter and metadata tag in Android manifest. Finally, we host assetlink.json file with package name and fingerprint. So now you have learned about how to set up deep link in Android. Let's move on to iOS. In iOS, you also need to go through both app setup and web setup. Although both have are different from Android, they should feel similar. Let's start with app setup. Since Flutter is a cross-platform framework, you can reuse the same Flutter code for both Android and iOS. So let's use the same code for the online shopping app. The goal is to add deep link to the product detail view. Launch Xcode and open the runner.xcode project in iOS folder inside the Flutter folder. In Xcode, navigate to info file. Add a key, Flutter deep link enabled, with Boolean value set to yes. Similar to Android, this is to up into Flutter's default deep link handler. Next, go to runner, click on signing and capability, click add capability, find the associated domain from the list and double click. Once the box is added to the screen, type your web domain in the text box. 
That should cover the app setup for iOS. For web setup, you need to host the Apple App Site Association file on your website. It needs to be hosted at this path. The file should contain data similar to this. The app ID is the ID of your app. It's the combination of the team ID and bundle ID. You can find the bundle ID in Xcode. The team ID is the ID of your Apple developer team that is used to build and register your app onto App Store. You can find the team ID by visiting Apple's developer account page, and you can find the link in the description below. Once you have your app ID, the last thing you need is to set the allow path. In this example, I allow slash followed by two characters. Once you host a file on your web domain, make sure the file is publicly accessible through the browser. And that is all for setting up DeepLink in iOS. Let's do a quick summary. First, write a Flutter app or use the Send app you have built for Android. Second, add an entry in info file. Third, add the associated domains. Lastly, host a web file with your app ID and allow pass. That's it. Now we have talked about how to set up deep links for Android and iOS. You may wonder what the process is like if I want to add a second deep link. How difficult would it be? Fortunately, at this point, we have done most of the groundwork to enable deep links. We just need to modify a bit of the existing code. Let's say you create a new page to display product based on category, and you want to also add a new deep link to this page. Assume you already have a build a widget called product category list. All you need to do is to add the widget to your doc code. After that, if you are building for Android, you just need to make sure the intent filter in Android manifest allows a new path. If you are building for iOS, you need to update the web file host on your website during the web setup to also allow the newly added path. Congrats, you just added a new deep link to your app. That is all I want to cover today. Back to you, Zoe. Thank you, Chen Han. I want to share some stories about how companies have transformed their business with deep links. Boost, the leading Nordic online department store, they implemented deep links and saw their app has a 4.5 times higher conversion rate compared with mobile web. Average order value is also two times higher than mobile web. Boohoo.com is a leading British online fashion retailer. After implementing deep links, their mobile app has a 5.5 times higher conversion rate than web. This has resulted in a 25% revenue increase. Deep links create a better user experience and engagement with your app. In this video, we showed how to implement deep links in Flutter with app links and universal links. If you wish to learn more, please check out the links in the description below for deep linking recipes from the Flutter cookbook. Thank you. And bye-bye now.